Hello and welcome to the Esoteric Learning Center. My name is Todd Cooperwriter. Today we're going to take a look at how to apply glass coatings, in particular the Miyabi coat from Kamikaze. We're going to look at the steps you need to take to make sure that you get a good application and all the products needed for the job. In order to do the coating properly, you need some important tools. First thing you're going to need is something to strip the surface with. Geon Prep, high quality towel. Then for application, we need applicator block, micro suede cloth, and then we use two towels for removal. And a nice little trick we do if you have the same color towel is we'll put a little mark with a Sharpie on one of them so we know which one is our first towel and which one is our secondary towel. We use towel one for our first wipe, second wipe to get the last bit of remnants off is with our second towel. Then finally, you want your coating. Here we're using the Miyabi coat from Kamikaze, very pure glass coating uh, made in Japan. Before we get started actually coating the car, one little safety tip, and it's not just for coating the car, but doing any detailing. You want to get rid of any jewelry, any watches, any belt, big belt buckles, because you don't want to risk accidentally scratching uh, the car. We're going to take our Geon Prep, and we're going to clean the surface. This makes sure that any oils, polishes, waxes that were on there previously are removed so you get a good bond with the surface. But you want to carefully wipe the surface so you don't cause any kind of scratching. One real important safety tip that I want to uh, let you know about is whether you're applying Miyabi coat from Kamikaze, ISM coat, any of the Gion products or any coating uh, product for that matter is keep in mind this is a glass coating or quartz coating and once it dries up it'll crystallize and make little like shards of glass. Very sharp, very abrasive. We don't want to get that on the car potentially damage the finish. So when we open up the bottle, take a paper towel, take an old towel, whatever you have, look around the surface and make sure you don't see any small little, it'll look like pieces of uh, glass. You want to completely clean all that off, get anything and everything out of it because all it takes is one small piece and you can damage uh, your finish if you spent 20, 30 hours polishing it. Last thing you want to do, have to go back and do it all over again. So here in the shop, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clean it out, then we'll take compressed air, blow in it as well, just to make sure that there's nothing left. But make sure that you have that bottle completely clean before you start applying it to the finish. Now we've got our applicator block. We've put our micro suede cloth on top of it. It's time to apply the uh, coating. Simple. Just get a decent coating. And then when you're going to the surface, you want thin, even coverage, and we're gonna do a crisscross pattern. It's easy to see the surface when you're applying it. You can see I'll go back and forth, straight motions, and then I'll come the opposite direction, just to make sure that we've got a complete coverage and we're not missing anything. Okay, now we've finished applying uh, the coating, we want to let it set for a little while. How long? About five to ten minutes. And what that translates to is roughly two sections. So you're going to apply it to a quarter panel and a door. And then when you're done with the application, wait a minute or two. Start your removal process where you started the application process. And that should give you enough curing time when it's ready to be removed. Now that we're ready to remove, we grab our two towels. We've got our number one towel, our number two towel. When we're doing the removal, we want to make sure that we stay nice straight lines and we also take a look at the adjacent panels to make sure that we haven't pushed any coating off to that because we want to get it removed as well. So I'm going to start removing and you'll notice that it comes off really easily. And I've finished up my first towel. Now I'm going to switch over to my second. No pressure at all. Just lightly wiping across the surface until you don't see any more coating on it. Now that we have our car completely coated, uh, a couple of safety tips. The towels that we used and the microfiber suede cloth that we used to apply the coating, we want to throw those in the trash. Reason being is because once they start to dry, they'll crystallize and become scratchy so you don't want to use them again. Well, now that you know how to coat a car like a pro, uh, just make sure when you're doing it, you have 24 hours before you get the car wet. Uh, you don't want to be touching all over it. After about 24 hours, the cars are going to crystallize a little bit more and, and look a lot better. So while it'll look good right at first, it'll look even better uh, the very next day. Well, that's it for now. We appreciate you stopping by the Esoteric Learning Center. 
and we look forward to seeing you on the next project. Thank you.